Hey everybody, Scott here for KPA TV. Today, as promised, I'm going to go through some presets, <laughs> profiles, a uh, low gain, my Scott's Cleanish based on a Michael Britt profile, Vibro King 1, and then my mid gain Dumble, which is also a Michael Britt uh, profile, as chance would have it. They're just, you know, really good sounding. Uh, his Dumble ODS is my mid gain Dumble. So, let's go. Yes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, grab the Strat here. Finally got the bridge on it. Oh, it's got the... Uh, Super V Blade Runner. I recommend it, it's pretty cool. Uh, as far as a Strat bridge that stays in tune, yeah. It's a little wobbly though, inside the socket though. I gotta, I gotta tweak it. But other than that, it's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm gonna play with the Strat and we're gonna start with the Vibro King. Then we're gonna do my Scott's Cleanish, which is the Vibro King that I've dressed up using all the effects and stuff in the Kemper. And then we're going to do uh, the Dumble ODS into my mid-gain Dumble. Let's get a guitar, should we? It's got all the, the, the Fender characteristics you want. It's spongy. Um, there's a tiny hair of reverb on this, uh, just straight when you, you know, get the profile but it's not, you know, processed yet. It hasn't had the treatment. So it's, it's got more low end, it's got more brightness to the top end, uh, it's more fun to play with. And let's go over to the Kemper, let me show you how I do it. This is Scott's Cleanish, I'm going to show you how I'm doing the stuff I'm doing. Uh, in the stomp section, I have... Uh, added a compressor. It is the uh, the default compressor, I believe. And I've got some relatively low settings on that. I'm not squashing it at all because the the sound of this amp is already squashed. It's the Vibro King. So uh, I set the mix to 85%. I don't usually go 100% uh, on compressors. This one's adding a little bit of volume too. The next thing, I'm using the uh, micro pitch because I like some pitch shifting as the G-System guys will tell you. It's my thing, it's my jam, it's what I like. So I'm adding some of that. Over here, the EQ is another big part of the, uh, the changing of the sound. I like to add some ultra lows below the frequencies that you can actually hear. You can feel them, and honestly, if you can't feel it with your guitar and your amp, then something's up. And uh, that's the problem with most modeling products and, you know, virtual amps. You don't really feel it. I like to add a little bit of this and I'm, it might make myself feel it. Then, uh, you know, I'm changing some high frequencies, adding some mids, low mids, and some, uh, some pretty highs as well. 3K. Um, that's what's going on with the, uh, the Vibro King and uh, on Scott's Cleanish. All right, now this is it's another Michael Britt profile, and I'm not trying to be, you know, his shill. This isn't a Michael Britt uh, commercial, but these are just the only presets that I have. 
I've got his and I've got the Michael Wagner's and I've got some that are built into the uh, Kemper and I'm finding that his and Michael Wagner's are the best. So until somebody else, you know, sends me some other ones, this is what I've got. <laughs> and I, you know, or until I go looking for them. So this is his Dumble uh, Overdrive Special and it so far is my favorite uh, like medium gain kind of overdrive. <laughs> That is with no processing. Now, let me uh, show you my mid-gain dumble after I've taken this, given it the treatment. It's pretty sweet. It's not too overdriven. I've got a higher gain dumble as well for, for big leads and stuff, but this is, you know, a good one for rhythm. With some body. Let's go over to the Kemper. Back to the Kemper. Show you how that was done. Here's my mid-gain dumble. On this one, compressor again, using less of it, 37%. It's already a pretty compressed sound. Um, the intensity is lower for that reason as well. I'm squashing it a little bit. Uh, I've got a noise gate happening, 1.6 threshold. My standard, or the original noise gate before the stomps is also set to 1.6 as well. And I find that that combination of the two, one before and one at the, the tail end, uh, stomp D, kills all the noise. It's great. I am using the uh, micro pitch on this one because I like some pitch shifting. I am also uh, using the EQ, but I've got the EQ over here in the uh, in the effects section this time, and I'm doing the same kind of thing, but with different uh, degrees of it. Ultra lows, boosting it. This time I'm pulling down some ultra highs, and this is how you get rid of that uh, annoying top end sound off of some of the strings when you're playing lead passages. So almost 6 dB down of that. And then uh, boosting some low mids and some, uh, some low highs, as I'm going to call them. And then I usually set the mix to about 75% on the EQs. For the delay, I didn't show you the delay or the reverb on the other one. I'm using the same one, the analog delay. Quick slap back on this one. And, uh, and then the, the reverb. It's the uh, Matchbox Reverb, which is pretty cool. Um, set thusly to uh, 2.8 second. There you go, everybody. How I do stuff. It's fun. It's easy. Anyone can do it. Just pick a you know profile that sounds good to you and tweak it. That's what I do. Um, I will be back on Monday with more stuff. I'm doing uh, shooting a video where we, my band, covers 10 songs. Uh oh, the air conditioner just came on. And I've got to make presets for them and program them into the remote. So that's what Monday and Tuesday's videos will be about next week. The adventures with the remote and, you know, making presets for specific songs. That's my thing. It's my jam, yo. And uh, if you're wondering about this t-shirt, go to YouTube, look up Yacht Rock number two. All will be revealed. So, everybody, please have a good weekend. And until next time, rock on.